welcome you guys. So we're going to put some videos together for our, the standing portion of our path to Blue Belt. Um, this is going to be in the context of sport or um, in in house uh, jujitsu. Um, that we will have a separate portion that is just based around self-defense, okay? So this first technique we're gonna learn is called Osoto Gari, or Major Outside Reap. Um, it is a really effective strategy, and I use it to, with lots of success. Uh, in a future video, we're gonna couple it with another one, so they kind of work hand in hand. First thing I need is a same side collar grip. So if it's my right hand, it's my partner's right collar, okay? And I'm just gonna make a, a grip straight inside. Generally, you, oftentimes, my partner will make a very similar grip. And I, and I would never intentionally give up a grip, but if he gets it, that's okay. We have a solution for this. All right, I'm gonna make an elbow grip right here behind his elbow, and I like to grab this material right here. And he's probably gonna do something similar. Now, what I would like to do is I'm gonna get him to plant this foot forward. So I'm gonna give him a little pull. When I hear that foot hit the floor, I'm going to bend, put a bend in his elbow. Think about putting his elbow at your belly button. And I take a step. Now, it's really important that my head stay in front of my knees, okay? So, elbow to belly button, my head is in front of my knees. I never reach, my head stays in front. I bring, I bring my trailing leg through, and I'm going to pick up my partner's, uh, the leg that he's got planted on here. So, I pick it up, and I put it down. So, let's do this side. Another view. So, same side grip. My partner's gonna to start to make grips. I'm gonna to go to the elbow, he goes to the elbow. I need to get him moving forward. I do so by taking like a step back and I pull him. When his foot hits the mat, I pin his elbow to my belly button. My head stays in front of my knees. I bring my trailing leg through and I pick up his leg and I get the tape. And one more view. All right, so we're kind of going to that. Here we go. Boom. Osoto guard. Now, I will caution you. Here's, here's the caveat for this one. If you, as all beginners do, do this, you are going to be countered with re Osoto guard. Okay? So, idea is to always keep your head in front of your hips and knees. The person with head position wins this fight. So, no good, good, okay? Hang on their elbow. Awesome. Thanks, Ryan. Osoto Gari, go practice.